Hello, this is Lane Kisler here from www.arizonadogsports.com in our continuing quest to provide you with the most relative and best information in training your dog. We're going to go ahead and continue on with a new video titled Required Beginning Steps to Training a Canine Agility Champion. If you are one of the many people who are interested in trying agility as a sport for you and your dog, you will need some basic agility equipment for dogs and a bit of obedience training. First, let's note that there are some typical guidelines for beginning training. Your dog should be nine months or older, unless it is a course that is specifically designed for puppies that are younger. Your dog should be well socialized and able to get along in activities with other dogs. The dog should have basic obedience, being sit, stay, come, and down. These are all directions the dog should be able to follow reasonably well. The dog should be able to walk on a loosely held lead with a harness or regular collar. Now you should decide if you want to try a beginner course with a class or private instruction in a smaller group, like two to four dogs. Beginner classes can be anywhere from about 10 to 30 people. The number of instructors will vary with the size of the group. Usually there will be one instructor for about every six to seven people. Dogs will usually be matched with classmates of similar size whenever possible. It's for the ease of instruction. And classes can go anywhere from six to 16 weeks. Now you should decide what kind of time commitment you are willing to make and assume that you will have to be in attendance at most classes. Plus, you need to add in some practice time during the week between classes on beginner's homework. Items and agility training equipment that you will need for class are a good pair of shoes with tread-like trail shoes or sneakers for yourself, a six-foot lead and collar or harness for your dog, a treat pouch and healthy, tasty treats, a long line, a clicker, a motivating toy like a tug or a training treat throw bag, water in a portable bowl, a portable crate or pop-up kennel, and don't forget waste pickup bags in order to be able to potty the dog before it heads into the agility ring. Now once you're in classes you may want to purchase some specific pieces of agility equipment for your dog. This is in order to practice at home with your friends. It is a good idea to start with some basic equipment in order to start your practice with your dog. And one of the first items is usually a contact board. Now this is a flat board that looks like the contact zone on a teeter or dog walk. And you will do flat work exercises that eventually lead to muscle memory on the part of your dog. Now that will be the first step to having good form when coming off of the larger pieces of contact equipment. A tunnel is always appreciated by most dogs who love to play games and run through it at top speeds. A set of individual weave poles or a small set of four to six training weave poles are great for starting a dog over nine months. This skill takes a long time to develop speed and confidence on. So most dogs start slow and at a short but daily practice of about five to ten minutes at a time. Now there are also a great many techniques and games available on DVD by nationally famous agility champions. These will help make weaves more fun. Many of the exercises for a beginner will be for you and your dog to learn focus, control, and connection while acquiring new skills. The most important thing to remember is that agility is a team sport and you and your dog need to work together to learn a set of skills that will lead to lasting enjoyment for the both of you. This is Lane Kisler at www.azdogsports.com and I hope that this information has been beneficial to you and your dog training. I encourage you to come visit us at our facility in Phoenix, Arizona, if you are in the neighborhood, or click on the link to the right of this video, www.azdogsports.com, to find out what services we offer. Here's to the success in your dog training, and we wish you the best. Again, we hope this information has been helpful. Thanks. Have a great day.